The 2022 Nissan Titan Pro 4X is arguably one of the best looking trucks on the market at the moment, and here's why. Overall, the exterior design really has a nice off-road type of rugged feel to it. Now this truck is of course black, so everything kind of is matched up in the front. The headlights are a nice projector headlight with a C-shaped running light going around. Uh, and these are polycarbonate material too. It's not like football helmets. So if a rock or something hits it, they're not gonna shatter or anything like that. Down below, going across the bottom here, you do have all your four parking sensors. So if you are getting a little bit too close to anything, it, it will let you know that. These nice bright Pro 4X hooks. This kind of detailing color comes on all of the Pro models. You can have it up on the badging up here. And this one even has the blacked out emblem. Since it does have that 360 degree monitoring system, you do have a camera up front right here inside the emblem. And then it does on the grill have an bedded Titan logo going across the top here. Now down at the bottom, these fog lights are the same type of material as the headlights along with the tail lights. So they're actually a polycarbonate material also and those are LED as well. And the wheels on this Titan are an 18 inch two-tone design with the gloss black and the brushed silver. Even got the blacked out emblem right here with a little bit of that pro detailing. Now the way Nissan especially designs all of their wheels is to kind of act like fan blades in a sense. So as you're driving down the road, it's gonna drag a little bit more air into the rotors and calipers because whenever you're driving, they tend to wear out a lot faster. So to help cool your brakes off, save you a little bit of money in the long run. And up top, we do have a little bit of a flare design going on on the fender to give it a little bit more of that width on the side and a little bit more of a just rugged feel and design to it. Now going down the side here, we do have these metal step rails going on here. And even in the side, it has that pro orange detailing embedded in this Titan logo, along with one right on the top here too. And this is kind of like your bed liner material, um, rhino shielding, whatever you want to call it. There's so many names for it. And with this Titan Pro 4X, you do get these Pro 4X designed mud flaps too that are going to be on the front along with the back side back there as well. Now over on the mirror here, you do have an LED turn signal inside of here. Uh, along with, like I was saying up front with that front camera, you have a camera over here on the side mirror, which will be on the bottom, of course, pointed directly at the passenger front wheel. They are dual breakaway as well, so they will go both ways, uh, along with the mirrors being defrosted too. And of course, on this, on this particular truck, you do have your lane indicators. So on the mirror here, if someone's coming up in your blind spot, it will let you know and light up a nice bright orangish yellow color. And on both the driver and passenger side, you will have a little button on the handles here. That is gonna be your keyless entry. So as long as you have your intelligent key with you in your pocket, in your purse, however you see fit, you can literally just press this button once it will unlock one door. If you press it twice, it'll lock or unlock all the doors at once. Now coming around to the back here on all of your pro models, you will have this badging on the back of the bedside. Now, of course, if you had the Pro X model, which is the two wheel drive version of this truck, it would just say Pro X. Going back to the tail lights here, like I mentioned earlier, they are polycarbonate material, so they are pretty strong. You have an, some nice detailing going on here, even with a Titan logo right on the side of the tail light itself, and then kind of breaking it up in the middle with the reverse lights and reflectors and stuff like that. Now, around the backside here on the Pro models, you're gonna have this nice panel design which actually has kind of half of a titan logo going on here and of course you got that blacked out badge uh, on the back side along with the pro 4x here and the blacked out titan logo down here these are assisted opening tailgates so once you open it you let it go and it drops it all the way down with a nice titan logo on the top here and then we go down a little bit lower you do have your hitch installed already on this truck you have your four and your seven pin adapters for your trailer. And uh, along the back side here as well, you do have your four parking sensors. So like I said up front, if you are getting a little bit too close to something, it is gonna let you know. What Nissan did on this and other, from other manufacturers, you'll see a little indention here with a step for us shorter people. I know myself, it helps me out. I'm only 5'8". All you have to do is literally push it down, drop straight down. And of course, if you had the bed down, it's very easy access in to the back of the truck. One other thing that actually comes with that 
is in this box here, which is a handle, which will bolt up on the rails. Now let's check out the back of the bed here a little bit. We have carpet mats along with your WeatherTech style floor mats. This is that handle that I was talking about that will go up there to help with your footstep. One cool thing about the Titans is that they come with a med kit already in it because it is supposed to be for off-roading, outdoors, go camping in this thing wherever you want. And of course you have your survival pack, adventure kit, off-road kit, whatever you want to call it, right in here as well. Right here we have an outlet. Uh, which is like a standard household outlet, which actually has a switch on the inside of the truck, which I'll show you here in a little bit. This particular truck, there are LED lights right here on the side of the tail light, along with back up in here under the rails. I don't know if you can see that, but there are also LED lights on both sides there. So if it is really dark back here, you'll be able to see anything you need inside the bed, along with having your cargo lamp up top. I think we've established that the exterior of the truck is amazing, but where will you be sitting when you're driving it? So let's check out what it looks like on the inside and see how beautiful the interior is to compare to the exterior. To start off here on the door panel, you're gonna have some orange stitching that comes on the Pro models, along with some storage down in the bottom, kind of this dry, uh, fake carbon fiber in a sense. And up top is a little bit of leather, a little bit of mix of perforated leather. Uh, you'll even have a couple cup holders in the bottom. And the best part about this truck is it has premium audio, which now on the Titans and the Frontiers are Fender audio systems. Now, another cool thing on these Titans, kick plate right here is actually backlit. So at night, this Pro 4X logo is gonna glow for you and kind of shine up a little bit of things. Just give it a nice modern touch to it. The seats, they are gonna be a perforated leather, which is a little bit softer and kind of hugs you a little bit more. You don't slide around like crazy on them. Up top here, you do have some more of that dry fake carbon. And then of course, the glove box in these things. They're not the biggest glove box that you would expect out of a truck, especially compared to Chevy or Ford and stuff like that, where they have the double box up top too, but you still got plenty of room for all your books and everything that you would need. Along with this nice little Pro 4X logo at the top of the seat, that actually makes it look really good with the orange stitching going around it. The center console design is actually, a, it's very bulky. You do get two little compartments on the side here. Probably fit a bigger iPhone, but the good thing about these center consoles is this stuff pops out. So these little dividers, the cup holders, they all pop out and you do have some little rubber mats on the bottom here, but you do have a big cubby hole. And you got a little port, uh, a little spot down here in the front too, next to your heated seat controls. So to mention, you do have heated seats in this truck. Now in the center console, up top on the lid, a lot of people miss these spots on cars. On the Titans, you're gonna have two pin clips in the center uh, along with a little money clip or uh, some type of business card clip, whatever you would like to use it for. Now sitting in the driver's seat here, first thing I notice is definitely the steering wheel. It is a very soft feeling leather to it. It's kind of like that perforated leather uh, along with this orangish pro stitching, orangish color pro stitching in here. Uh, and then of course that blacked out emblem with the pro orange. This side of the steering wheel here, we're gonna have a lot of functions going on. You're gonna have, of course, the, all the controls to control your seven inch driver's assist display in front of you. So you'll have two buttons down here that will be for answering and hanging up phone calls on Bluetooth, such and such. And then you'll have another button right above it that'll be for commands. So if you wanted to tell the car to Let's say, call your girlfriend, call your boyfriend, call your mom. You could give it that command through this button here without even touching your phone, and it'll go ahead and call them for you through the car itself. Now over here on the right side, you're gonna have all your cruise control functions. Now this little button down here at the bottom is gonna be for setting the distance between you and the car in front of you. It'll always display it here on the driver's assist display, and you'll be able to set between three different bars. On the left side over here, you do have your automatic headlight controls uh, along with the dimmer switch. I do like the, how they have the start-stop button more closer to the radio, so you're not 
bending your head all over the place, breaking your neck, trying to find the push to start button. This beautiful iPad looking design up top. It's gonna be an eight inch display, but of course you're gonna have all your main menu functions down below. Let's go down a little bit lower where the climate controls are. You're gonna have dual climate control in this truck, which is amazing. I know me, I'm a little bit more warm blooded than my girlfriend, so. It helps me out tremendously. You have your traction control buttons. This is for all your parking sensors to turn them off if you'd like. Your alert system for the ProPilot Assist. Another nice thing this truck comes with is a heated steering wheel, which is controlled on this button next to it between this stitch and this stitch and kind of give you a little bit of warm hand feeling in those colder weathers, especially you people up north. Down a little bit lower, you're gonna have your trailer brake system, which is a very nice, easy system to use. Uh, and then you're gonna have your charging ports. Now, now the good thing Nissan's doing is integrating the Type-C port. A lot of Apple products and definitely a lot of Android products are transferring over to Type-C because it charges your phone faster and it actually transmits data a lot faster too. So it helps out with your Apple CarPlay, your Android Auto, stuff like that. But let me show you a little bit of what's going on in the back seat here. So the seat design is actually just basically the same as up top. Over in the side door, you're gonna have some storage down here. A couple more cup holders. I highly suggest only making that bottles or something that has a cap or a lid because they will go everywhere. Now let's take a look at the back of the center console back here. We actually have heated seats for the back seats. So that's pretty cool, uh, along with adding 12 volt outlet here, which is your normal car outlet. And then of course, adding some two USB ports, just your normal type A ports. You do have a little outlet plug here, which is no like your normal house outlet. So if you don't have uh, one of the car ports, just plug your normal charger in. Now one cool thing about these seats is the backrest do come down. So there's this little lever up top that we're gonna pull up and it'll drop the entire seat down. Now, of course, it is split, so you got the one seat over there. If you wanted to store some small stuff back here, you could definitely do that. Uh, and then up top back there, you do have your sliding glass, which is electronic as well. Down below the seat, you can actually just lift up on it and it'll come up. It does lock in place once it gets up top. So you have this little handle up here that'll drop it back down. But let's keep it up for a bit back here. You do have a storage compartment underneath, but this is actually a pretty cool design. So if you wanted to flip this out, this becomes a platform. So if you wanted to or needed to have a flat surface for anything, let's say you had an air mattress for the back of a truck, you could put that back here and you'll have a flat surface to lay it on. Of course, when you do lift the seat, you do get access to your jack and your toolkit back here as well. So you tell me, is the Titan one of the best looking trucks on the market right now? Drop a comment down below and let me know. If you're interested in this truck or any other truck that we possibly have available, check us out on newtonnissansouth.com or stop by. But other than that, that's it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode.